So in this video, we'll be going over what is micro and micro averages. So you have all must have used binary average by now in binary classifications. An example of binary average is the F1 score, which is precision into recall into two divided by precision plus recall. But what exactly is macro and micro averages? The well, macro average takes each class independently and takes their averages, whereas the micro average takes all the classes at once and then computes the averages. Uh, well, it's a bit, uh, it might be a bit uh, unclear as to what I mean by now, but it will be clear at the end of the video. Uh, but the question when to use macro and when to use micro averages. So if you suspect any kind of class imbalance, then you should focus more on the micro numbers. And if you want to give equal weightage to each class, then you should be looking at the macro numbers. So let's let's take a look at one example. This example is straight from the scikit-learn website. Uh, where we have y true, y bread. So we calculate the precision score uh, using both average as micro and macro. And as you can see, the numbers are different. The micro precision comes out to be 0.33 and the micro and the macro precision comes out to be 0.22. So how do we calculate these numbers? Well, the answer is straightforward. First, we calculate the confusion matrix. Then we plot the confusion matrix using C1 here. You can choose any tool of your choice. And as we can see, for A's, we have two correct classification. For B's, we have no correct classification. For C's, again, we have no correct classifications. So recapping a bit of the theory, we know the precision is true positives divided by true positive plus false positives. So for multi-class, the micro and micro formula can be summarized as the micro is all the true positives of each class divided by all the true positives of each class and the false positives of each class. Whereas the macro, as we have already mentioned, that it just takes the aggregate of each class independently. So the precision here, so the micro precision will be the precision of each class divided by the number of classes. So it's precision of class one, two, and three divided by all the three classes. So it will be A, B, C divided by three. Uh, so just let's do a quick calculation using these formulas. So precision micro will be so we have only two true positives across all the three classes. So it's two divided by six. Six is the total number of samples here. Uh, so it's one upon three, which is 0.33, which uh, is what scikit-learn library also gives us. Whereas the macro precision is the precision of class A, B, and C. So for class A, we can see that there are two true positives and one false positive. So it's Total is 2 divided by 3, which is 0.66 roughly. And for class B and class C, the uh, precision is 0 because there were no true positives in both B and C. So it will be 0, 0, so it's 0 0.66 by 3, which comes out to be 0 0.22. Hopefully, this clears up what's the difference between micro and macro averages. And for uh, in any more such explanations, please follow mlexplain.blog. Thank you for watching.